here at the J. Davidson Stadium where Altrincham have lost 3-2 to Gateshead today. First of all, what was your assessment after the loss, Phil? I'm really disappointed, angry at the way that we've uh, lost the lead of 2-1. But against a very good team, so sometimes you have to understand what you're coming up against and uh, any form of mistake will be punished. I really felt it was a game of two halves as well. I felt we were on top for the majority of the first. They did come into it last 15, I felt. Um, but as I said, Gateshead are a very good team and if you aren't at, at it all the way through a bit like ourselves and you get punished and in a nip and tuck game, unfortunately we've come out the wrong end of the result. Unfortunately we lost today, but what positives can you take out of the game? It's hard for me to say that when we've just lost, but the positives are certainly the way that we played in the first half. Um, the way that Dan Mooney took his goal as well, I thought that's Dan Mooney of old and I've been able to see that in him in training lately, so that was great to see him be able to do that when he come on. I thought there were some really good performances in the first half in particular, um, but yeah, second half, we, uh, we come off second best and unfortunately we couldn't hold on for a draw. I mean, for a lad to come on and score with his first touch, it's difficult to take, isn't it? Because it's a wowser and it's not that you've been opened up, but ultimately I felt um, we turned the ball over too many times in our in our mid third. That's where the first two goals come from, which is really disappointing. But again, you're playing against a decent press where they get after you aggressively, a bit like what we're trying to achieve, but their press in the second half was obviously better than ours and that's, that's why they were able to turn the ball over the way they did. Our players have got to do better in their moments in games. Um, and I felt if we would have handled the ball better in that mid-third, they wouldn't have been able to hurt us with the, the opportunities that they had. But again, I think I'll be watching that back and I don't remember Ethan having a save to make apart from the three opportunities that have gone in. And we've been here before when I've stood in front of the camera and said that. So that's probably where the anger comes from inside me because I'm frustrated and disappointed because I felt we did have a couple of reasonable opportunities in the first half, but we've not been as clinical as what they have. You mentioned about Dan Mooney. He came on at the start of the second half. What was your thinking behind that decision? Justin looked like he was flagging a little bit and uh, Dan to give us fresh impetus, same with uh, Regan. We could have gone really negative and, and put an extra defender on at 2-1 but I felt it was too early in the game to, to sort of consolidate. I felt we needed to continue to, to play the way we were. Unfortunately, it's not panned out where we've come out on the right end of the result and at the end of the day you live and die by your decisions. But as I said, apart from a few long balls that I felt we, we dealt with fairly comfortably, um, I didn't feel like they were going to hurt us too much, but ultimately two particular moments in the game where they've scored in a long throw and a knockdown and there's not a great deal I can say about that apart from another day that lad probably skies it over the bar, but he's at the back of the net. Our next game is against Wheelstone on Tuesday. They have one win in their last five. Being at home, is that so crucial because that's a vital three points now? I would have said that about a month ago. Um, but at the moment, we, our home form has been indifferent, so who knows? And that's the bit this team's got to turn around. We've got to find that form that we had at home at the start of the season right now. And I've just said that to them in there. Um, but ultimately, everybody is capable of beating everyone in the division. I think if you listen to any interview throughout the National League, every manager's saying the same thing. So certainly home field advantage will count for something. They're travelling a long way on a Tuesday night, but ultimately they've done that before and come here and got a result. So until the team show that consistency that we've been able to see previously, listen, it'll be a really tough game and we're going to have to be absolutely on point. We're going to have to recover right um, and we're going to have to play a lot better than what we did in the second half to get a result against another in-possession team. They're a very good team and uh, we, we're going to have to be on point in, in everything that we do to get anything. A massive turnout of 3,239 fans today at the J. Davidson Stadium and for non-league day. How important is it to keep the tradition of non-league day? Yeah, it's massive. It's been one of my favourite days since I've come here. I didn't really appreciate it until I come to Old Tringham and you see the types of fans who come from Man City's, United's, all the other, the, 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 the sort of Championship League, One League, uh, those types of teams, they come here on this day and they make it a real special moment. And I think that's why I'm also angry, the fact that we couldn't give them something to, to go home and, and say, I remember going to Old Tringham for the right reasons, rather than seeing us capitulate a little bit in the second half. Um, that would have been great to be able to do that. But that's football. Just when you think you've cracked it, it kicks you in the proverbials again. And, and that's what it's done to us today. Thank you very much, Phil. No problem.